Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at a couple new products that I've picked up. Uh, the first one is one I paid for. This is from G Tech. It is a filament that's a uh, color gradient filament. Uh, it uh, slowly transitions from one color to another. I believe there's a total of seven different colors, but they claim that there's up to 15 different uh, variations in the colors. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how that turns out. Um, I'm going to be printing up some maker coins, so that'll be give me a good chance to see how how fast it it changes colors and all that. The next thing was something that was sent to me by Magiglue or Magigoo. Sorry about that. Uh, it's like a magic, not not magnet, but magic. <laughs> but uh, Magigoo uh, was kind enough to send me a sample of their bed adhesive. And it uh, comes in the form of this pin looking thing here. And I'll pull the instructions out. We'll take a look and see how to, to apply it. I did take my build plate and completely cleaned it off. So I got all the, the Elmer's glue that I normally use. I got that washed off of it. So it's a bare piece of glass now. And according to this, you shake it. And then, like you mean it, then press the nib, the end of the pin, to the print bed for the magic goo to flow. Spread the adhesive evenly over the print area. Cover the bed with an even thin layer. Make sure that no spots are missed. So let's go ahead and give that a shot and see how that holds down the this new filament. So I'm going to shake the pin really good. Sorry if it's shaking the camera. <laughs> okay. So now it's all shook up. We're going to go ahead and try applying it. Now from what I understand, you press down on it. And that's supposed to start oozing down the sides of it, I believe. Let's see. Yep, there it's starting to come out. Okay, so once it gets down to the tip, I'll start spreading it across the bill plate. There we go. Okay, so now it's coming down the grooves on the sides here. You just do like a paint motion, I believe. And I'm noticing that the bottom of the, what they call the nib, has got uh, kind of grooves to it. So it's actually creating a groove surface on the print bed. I'm not sure. I think it's just supposed to be a thin layer, but I'm going to kind of go back over it a couple times just to make sure I got all the areas covered. I hate to just keep holding it down and let it just keep oozing, but... <laughs> It looks like I'm getting it covered pretty good. Now what's funny is it's staying wet on the bed. I don't feel it drying just yet, but I got a feeling once I heat up the bed, it's going to it's going to flash and and dry up. We'll find out here in just a moment. Okay, so I'm getting back there where the fan's going to start bothering me. So I'm going to move it back and then apply it from the very back here.
There we go. I think that's pretty much covered. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply the cap here. I'll just place it over here to the side at the moment. And it looks like it's fairly even. Now zoom in on the bed and you can see there's kind of a groove pattern along the the bed. And that looks to be because of the tip of it having those grooves to it. So I'm guessing that helps with the adhesion as well. Maybe we'll find out here in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and preheat everything and then I'll uh, get everything set up for a time lapse and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so it's been 7 hours and 52 minutes. Let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, that released nicely. The filament looks like it changed colors right the, toward that portion right there into this. Let's see how the rest of them... Oh yeah. Oh, that's much better than... <laughs> much better than when I used the Elmer's glue. So the... Magi Goo actually worked out really nice on this. Um, that that released really nicely, which I had heard that it, uh, whenever the, your bed cools down, it will release, so you don't have to use tools in order to get it all off. That's pretty cool. And this filament, it's really got a different look to it, but it uh, prints really good. I was really surprised how nice that prints. And then it just transitions colors all the way through the entire spool. I think it only transitions once through the entire spool. I don't think it does it twice or something like that. But uh, eventually I'd like to find a filament where it will actually transition, you know, like every one or two meters. So like I really get something that's got a lot of different colors to it. But for the meantime, this will work out pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> see if I get a better focus on it here you can kind of see the where it shifted colors along the edge there wow that's pretty cool <laughs> so once again uh, full disclosure I did pay for the filament this was from G Tech I'll put a link to that in the video description the magic glue I it was g given to the channel by the company themselves. I'll uh, put a link to their website in the video description as well. This was first to the channel free of charge, but it doesn't change the fact that it really worked out nice. But um, 
I'm going to use as, as much as I can, that's for sure. I mean, the washable Elmer's glue does pretty good, but if you put a brand new uh, coat of it on the bed, it doesn't release that easily. <laughs> but that's actually, it looks like it held down really good on the on the print bed. It just, once it cools down, I guess it just pops loose just like it used to whenever I printed directly to the glass. And once it started changing temperature settings, that all failed and I had to go with glue. <laughs> well, that's going to do it, guys. Have a good one. Take care. And by the way, I will be at Maker Fair on uh, the 20th of May. Um, that's why I'm getting all these Maker Coins all ready for. So if you happen to be going to Bay Area Maker Fair, uh, please uh, look me up. I'll be I'll be right somewhere around the 3D printers. I plan on being there all day long. So I got a lot of stuff I want to take a look at. Well, guys, have a good one. Take care. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll get notified when a video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.